Hi, beautiful. You. Whoa, you, 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 you. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. If you're not pretty, no one is. That's it. That was the worst cheer. Let me do it again. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Um, you're the prettiest by far. <laughs> That's all I got. Take it or leave it. Today we're doing something wild, man. Something I really don't like, which is people using kitchen scissors to cut their hair. I've done it before. And that ruins your hair. It will give you split ends. We don't want those. If you're gonna cut your hair, we want your hair to be not split anymore. Isn't that the point? If they're your dull kitchen scissors like I know they are, baby, that's not gonna cut it for me. Hopefully the cuts come out good. I wanna cheer on these curls. I want them to feel good about themselves after they're done. I don't want them to have a mental breakdown, but I'm also pretty concerned about what we're gonna see today. Our first video today is by Natalie Lawyer, and this is called, I cut 12 inches off my hair with kitchen scissors. Ah, yes, you did. Let's see how it went. I decided I'm just gonna chop off all my hair off today with my kitchen scissors. <laughs> I got really bored recently with my hair. It Whoa, her hair is so pretty. And I've never really cut it short. I always had long hair. What I want to do today is cut all my hair off. Happy to see it and also hate to see it. Your hair is really pretty and those highlights are fabulous, gorgeous. And I'm a little nervous that what you might end up with may be terrible. At least you just took a risk. I love that. Here we have my kitchen scissors and my hair. Okay, let's analyze these kitchen scissors. They look weak. You know, they're not even like KitchenAid scissors. Listen, I got some good scissors in my kitchen. I love those. But these ones, they look serrated and dull and like they're gonna do a terrible job. I have never done this. <laughs> Watched probably five to 10 videos of people doing this at their house because I wanted to kind of get the gist of what everyone was doing. No one knows what they're doing. We're all just kind of going for it. That is the most truest of truest things I've ever heard. Nobody knows what they're doing. We're all just going for it. No, please don't do this, Natalie. Except I want you to. I want you to have a good change and feel brand new, baby. I want. I do. Pretty much what people did was tie off their hair in pigtails and just kind of like Please just do at least four sections like that's all I'm asking for today Like let's just not do two and I didn't do anything today and she's brushing it great In case I hate it to make me feel a little bit better. She's also about to cut her hair while it's wavy girl straighten that before you do that. Straighten it for me, baby Natalie. My thought process is it's just hair. My hair grows really fast. She has so much hair. She's gonna have such a hard time making that even and look appropriate. I also don't understand how this back is gonna turn out. She has so much hair. If she doesn't cut layers in this, it's just gonna all sit right here at the bottom of her face and just make her face look really wide. Oh, I'm scared. I'm really scared. Oh. That my hair's so thin. We're just doing two. Oh wait, I'm gonna do it. I have to cut. Dude, that is so much hair to cut all at Whoa. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm kind of dumb. Oh my God is right. Good for you, Natalie. The ball's on you, girl. It's kind of straight. Oh my God, that's really short. <laughs> Yo, she's shook. What did I do? Yo, she went so short. Oh my God, that's too short. I don't even think I'm gonna put it back in a ponytail. Oh! No matter how many times I see shit like this, I'm still like, wow, they did that. Now she has to make the other side the same length, which is definitely the hard part. Actually, it's all pretty hard. Instant regret, ever. Instant regret, God, it's so uneven. God, I'm so sorry, Harry. <gasps> oh my God, what did I do? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at how uneven that is. Wait, what do people do when they like? Uh, mm. Turning back. No. Stop. I wish she followed my at-home haircut tutorial. It's looking crazy, girl. She has to give herself some layers. She has to. There's just so much weight at the bottom of her head. It just doesn't look appropriate. It looks like she hacked her hair at home is what it looks like. It does. And that is exactly what happened. So that makes sense to me. Uh, also think Why are you doing that? Excuse Why are we doing that? I don't even know what I'm doing. No, you have no idea. Yeah. I mean, like, I know it looks bad, but I feel a lot lighter. It's okay. It's not styled. So once we get it styled, you're gonna need more than a styling. So we'll be better. I promise. To make this look better. And I don't know if this is the technique I'm supposed to go for. Oh, 
she knows I made a bad decision. So what she's trying to do is thin out the ends. You can totally point cut hair, but you have to actually take it up in sections and point cut into it. And also you have to use real scissors to do that. Kitchen scissors are way too wide. You're not gonna get the same effect if you point cut with kitchen scissors. You're gonna have chunks of hair missing in those spots that you point cut. Just stop here, go to a salon. Also, I hope she does something with her color. Like I loved her highlights before. She just needs to brighten it up. I think that'll really bring the whole look together. I'm gonna do like a little bang act, not bangs. Oh, now we're doing layering in the front, aren't we? Uh, she just couldn't help herself. She has to now do layerings and push it even farther, baby. I want to be friends with you, Natalie, because you don't give a f <laughs> Because you take risks. Because you cut your hair with kitchen scissors. At this point, I'm just like, I don't even care. The backwards cut. Is this a look? No. I'd love to see it. This feels really effing weird. I don't hate it. I mean, it's just different. I don't even know what the back looks like. Oh, now we're trying to curl it to make it look better. One of our family friends did end up evening out my hair because the back was so bad and I could not go out and follow. It looks so much better. We got that done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is something I wouldn't normally do, but I just was feeling ballsy, so we went for it. Whoever fixed her hair, it looks great. I do like this shortcut. I love a good change. You guys know me. Just I feel like she needs a little bit more of like a punky color now. Something to brighten up her face. You know, some face framing highlights, which I think she actually did end up getting done because on her little profile picture here, here. She has highlights again. Love it. It looks fabulous and I would say good job, but you did a terrible job. <laughs> next time, Natalie. No, I just hope there is no next time, to be honest with you. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next video. Next video is by Caitlin Malone and this is called Impulsively Cutting Off My Hair with Kitchen Scissors. So if you know me, I have grown up my hair for about a year now and it's so super long and honestly just kind of tired of it. Yeah, it is. And it's beautiful. If you have long hair and have a boyfriend, it sucks because he's always laying on it and pulling it by accident. I'm always leaning on my own hair and it hurts because I'm always pulling it. You know, Caitlin, it must be so hard having a boyfriend, having him lay on your hair. <laughs> Must be so hard, Caitlin. So hard. Really contemplating. I was like, should I wet my hair? Because then it'd be easier to like clean up and like. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm just gonna like straighten it out a bit. Oh, this is me having a mental breakdown and cutting my hair off. Great choice. That way you know exactly how much length you're cutting off. Your natural texture is gone for a moment and you get to see it fully straight. It's just better off that way. It's easier that way, in my opinion, if you're cutting your own hair and yeah. Every Instagrammer has short here right now and I'm living for it. I just want to be like everyone else, okay? Thing is though, they don't have bangs. Girl, is that how you're gonna straighten your hair? That's it? I'm not gonna straighten it all the way down because I'm gonna be cutting it off, so. If you know me, that is one of my pet peeves, going like this with a straightener, just like doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. It drives me nuts. Go slow with a straightener, baby. It's not gonna do anything if you go like this. Well, it's gonna do something, but it's just not gonna be very effective. So just slow with the straightener and take sections. Doing the surface of your hair, making the surface of your hair straight is not going to result in a clean, straight haircut. You have to make the whole thing straight and go around your whole head. Otherwise, it's not gonna look good. Okay, is this straight enough to my shoulders? No, it's not straight enough. I'm gonna try the hair tie technique. Oh, f where do I want this? I wanna get it to that like, sh Hair tie technique, totally fine guys, but you have to know that you need to over direct the hair and you need to make sure it is laid flat. If you pull everything forward, you're gonna have longer hair in the back and it's not gonna look right. Okay, we got our uh, trusty dusty kitchen scissors because my actual hair cutting scissors are back in Toronto. Um, Am I having deja vu right now or is this the exact same scenario as the last girl? She's got thick long hair and she's using the same exact kitchen scissors and she's cutting it to the same exact length. Interesting. Oh my god, I'm doing this blind. Why am I doing this blind? This is a bad idea. I feel like the hair tie is moving and I'm not cutting this straight at all. Oh my god, this is so rough. Do you hear that noise? That's when you know the scissors are dull. Wait, that was kind of straight. That is the most uneven sh I've ever seen in my life. Literally deja vu. That's sad. Wow. Okay, well. Dude, her ends are so thick. Need to put layers in that sh Light, she's cute. Uneven as hell. I feel like everyone else, it was like snip and it was gone. I'm like hacking at my hair here. It's not cutting off. That's what happens when you have such thick hair. I like the door the explorer. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Look at the little flip in the back. Oh, wow. Uneven this is. I can't even tell because it's flipping up in the back. No. 
It's so bad. Am I a cute Instagram girl now? I actually kind of, yeah. Hasn't happened yet, and I'm still trying to process. I'm in like shock right now. What do I even do with this? Do I donate this? Yes, please donate it. This is enough hair to like literally make another hair head of hair. So now we're going in and we're trying to even it out a little bit. Probably gonna be unsuccessful, but you know, it's okay. At least she's trying. Pulling everything forward is not gonna make it even in the back. Just saying. Okay, I think we're doing okay. It's probably gonna look like on camera? We're not gonna do any layering, man. Come on. We're just gonna go ahead and curl it and hopefully it looks. I just realized I didn't post on my Instagram. Better, I guess. Did I miss anything? I feel like I've missed it all. It doesn't look good. You see how all of the weight is just like sitting at the bottom? That's why it doesn't look cute. This is my new hair. Oh my God, tell me down below how much of an idiot I am for cutting it. Well, it turned out pretty cute, I think. Listen, love the shorter hair. All you need to do is get some layering put in there. Get that weight out of the bottom of your hair. I'm just envisioning you with a fun color. I keep on getting the color yellow in my head. That's what my instincts are telling me. Yellow, yellow, yellow. But I mean, take it or leave it, babe. Decent. Good job. Thanks for sharing that video with us. Oh, you guys, those were a couple of really mediocre haircuts. Done with kitchen scissors. If you're gonna do that at home, maybe just do better and maybe don't use kitchen scissors. That'd be great. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell icon and the thumbs up moment. You know, it'd be good for me. Make sure you guys have text me. I'll be texting you guys back. Yes, this is a real number. Yes, I can really text you back on it. And yes, I really do get all your messages. And I love you so much. Everything you say to me, guys, it's so sweet. Make sure you guys follow me on all the different social media networks. Here they all are all around me. Wow, there's so many. Make sure you guys check out Xmondo Hair at xmondohair.com, link below, or go to our Instagram at Xmondo Hair. We actually just restocked Wave Tech and it is already sold out again. Thank you for that. That's literally incredible. There was over 20,000 people on our wait list and I can't believe it. Also, Viper Smoothing Oil is sold out as well. Super cool, thanks for your support. If you guys wanna sign up to be notified when those products restock, well, they are linked below on the product pages. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Ellie. She says, hi, my name's Elena. I watch your videos and I'm a huge fan. Love your work. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. What do you think I should do to my hair? I'll send you some pics of what I have right now. I just feel really plain and want something that'll make me pop. Girl, don't be all. What I think you should do 150,000% is dye your hair pink, okay? Use a semi-permanent color and color it pink and then cut your hair to your shoulders like these girls did today, but actually do it well. Get some layering put in there because this picture of you with your hair tucked behind your shoulders like looks like your hair is short and I love the vibe. Totally think you should do that. If you do it, let me know. I would love to see a picture and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.